That core sample has been stored ever since, never being exposed to the Earth's atmosphere. All told, the Apollo missions brought back 842 pounds of lunar rocks, core samples, pebbles, sand, and dust from the lunar surface. Many can be seen in museums, planetariums, and science centers, including the National Air and Space Museum. You can even get NASA to send you some to your classroom. Over the last 50 years, NASA has given samples to scientists to study. These scientists have conducted many experiments to learn more about the lunar surface and its formation. One of the most significant things for NASA's return to the moon is identifying the most important and significant things to look for on the surface. Even today, NASA designs things to be compact in order to send them into space. One way to make things compact is to fold them, like the James Webb Space Telescope. What started as an ancient uh, craft for ceremonial purposes has been picked up and utilized by today's uh, technologies, including NASA and JPL. Yeah, they found out uh, uh, how origami could help solve their problems packing things and shipping them into space.